Hi guys. Well, here we are again. Another dark, gloomy, yuck, gray, rainy, depressing day here in the end times in my newfound paradise of the Catskill Mountains in New York here on this gloomy Tuesday morning, July 24, 2018. But you guys are so lucky that you get a depressed collapsitarian whine two days early. This is a Tuesday whine. This is not a rant. This is a whine. Uh, so anyway, here I, here I am on the road again after once again your old uh, doomsday tourist has been kicked to the curb by another doomer chick. Imagine that, a Doomer chick telling him a little tale. It is time for you to pack up your gas sucking truck and head down the road to wherever you came from. Now guys, I, I want you to understand, I am joking. I, I was not kicked to the curb by this very nice woman. I was, I was very gently, diplomatically, uh, very carefully laid at the, laid, yeah, right, laid at the curb uh, next to the the bare strewn garbage, and uh, you know, obviously, I'm sitting here trying to process what the fuck exactly this was all about, and. And, and I, and I want to make this absolutely 100% clear for the record before all of you with your one-track minds get uh, start running away with you. Uh, that, that this latest Doomer chick in no way, shape, or form was a psycho bitch. And that is what makes this particular uh, kick in the nuts particularly painful because I have no one to blame uh, th th this latest fucking uh, blow up in my life uh, other than on myself. Uh, I, I can't blame this one uh, on some uh, you know some psycho bitch some alcoholic uh, some militant vegan, you know what I'm saying. Uh, this was a very nice, uh, you know, intelligent, attractive uh, artist uh, with, without a psycho bitch bone in her body. Uh, you know, and just like any uh, an intelligent, attractive, uh, non-psycho bitch, uh, just very nice female, or it's not even, this isn't even female, or hell, a uh, man too, would, uh, you know, assess what a ham bone little tail has to offer their lives, and just after assessing the, uh, the this person uh, in front of them, uh, obviously they will, in various uh, degrees of politeness, tell Hambone to uh, pack up your fucking gas-sucking truck and head down the road. Uh, this is this is what uh, I have manifested in my life. That. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I try to put myself in, in the position of, of, of other people. You know, if, if some guy like me showed up at, at my door in, uh, in Garfield, Texas, uh, I would probably, uh, just out of, uh, you know, just out of basic human kindness, if, if not pity, uh, would would put them up for three or four nights 
but then it, 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 you know it would be time for them to, to pack their shit and go uh, no shit Sherlock uh, and, and, and also to, to, just so uh, you, you one track minders uh, just make no mistake about this there was absolutely zero uh, romantic uh, interest uh, in either direction uh, between me and this nice woman. Uh, it had nothing to do with the pink line. The, the pink line was, was, uh, had zero uh, to do with it. So j just so you understand, I thought uh, and, and I think this nice woman would agree that I was an absolute perfect gentleman. Uh, you know, it, it, it had, I, I can't blame it. Uh, I can't blame it on uh, making the horrendous, horrendous judgment uh, to cross the pink line uh, with, with, a, with a doomer check. And at least this Doomer chick, she, she somewhat restored my faith in Doomer chicks. They, you know, it's been a fairly regular theme here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, whether Doomer chicks are more predisposed than the average uh, female population to be psycho bitches. And as I say, I have a, I have a little more faith in the Doomer Chick population after meeting this latest Doomer Chick. Uh, but, but as I say, uh, the fact that she was not a psycho bitch makes it, uh, makes this latest uh, sudden U-turn, turn of events in my life all, all the more painful. Uh, you know, I, 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 am, I am absolutely, totally embarrassed about my, uh, and, and, and it basically just boiled down uh, that I was a little presumptuous. Uh, there was an honest miscommunication between me and this woman. It's, I, I guess it's nobody, well, it is my fault uh, that I'm on the fucking road again, not having any goddamn clue where the fuck I'm going to be. Uh, living in a few days, uh, but you know what? It, it, it was an honest miscommunication. Uh, with uh, and I, I hope there's no hard feelings between me and this woman. But at the same time, it, it, you know, it's just embarrassing as hell when something like this happens. And, you know, it's pretty fucking humiliating to be a 58-year-old uh, man. Uh, with five years of college and, and real estate licenses in three states to be uh, depending uh, on the largesse of, uh, of folks in the Dumasphere, uh, you know, to, to put me up. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to figure out what I have learned from this whole experience. I guess we have some, a stop sign in the end times. There you go, a stop sign in the end times. Oh, we have a slow sign in the end times. Go slowly through the uh, apocalypse. Okay, so what lessons did this latest and, it, and, and just the latest, I, I, I mean, the combination of events uh, that have just spiraled uh, my life downward since that bullshit went down at the Canadian border. Uh, when was that? A, a week ago? A little over a week ago that that fucking bullshit went down uh, and, and my life just completely it, it, it hit a fucking it. I think this is called God's Great Banana Peel, is uh, how uh, I've heard it described. Situations like this in your life, where you're where you're walking, uh, you know, walking down the road, 
uh, walking down the sidewalk of life, uh, trying to keep your ass from getting run over by a car, and you slip and fall on God's great banana peel. And uh, it's just uh, everything uh, in my life uh, has just gone completely to, to fucking shit since that happened. I, I had some ridiculous fucking notion that, uh, anyway, uh, it, it was a miscommunication. Uh, so here I am, back on, uh, back on the road again, trying to figure out my lesson. So, uh, looking back over this long, strange trip, uh, for the last six weeks, you know, I pulled, when was it? Was it June 6th that I pulled out of Austin, Texas, uh, heading on, on this trip, uh, up here in the rainy northeast. Uh, and have been greatly enjoying meeting a bunch of my tribes members along the way who have found it uh, in their in their hearts and whatnot to put me up for a few nights. But uh, obviously, the number one lesson that I've learned, and this and, and guys, this this is n not just lessons that I have learned. I, I'm passing on if, if anybody out there. It is uh, ever makes the absolute horrendous judgment in their lives to uh, do what uh, to do what I'm doing uh, with my life. If, if you ever find yourself contemplating uh, following, you know, living a life of freedom. Uh, um, uh, one, one of my buddies yesterday was talking about my life of freedom uh, and I said yeah uh, I have the freedom a to get eaten by a bear or B to get washed away in a flash flood are, are my two choices in the Catskill Mountains which is why I'm leaving the Catskill Mountains but anyway if you ever do uh, make this absolutely uh, tragic uh, decision in your life to respond to what's going down on this planet by uh, just you know selling your house and quitting your job and leaving your friends and heading out for the great open road here in the end times uh, and, and, and you think that you're going to be visiting people along the way, particularly people that, that you don't know, uh, obviously, but th this almost goes, uh, th this does, it, it, on some level it even works for siblings, but for, you know, depending on the largesse of others down here in the Doomosphere, depending uh, on this uh, commune, this tiny little community of like-minded individuals who understand how fucked uh, we are on this planet is it, 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 like depending on anybody else. What you, you, you know, it's four nights is the absolute maximum. The absolute maximum. I don't give a flying fuck uh, how much uh, the, the person uh, protest or whatever, uh, absolute maximum, four nights. Uh, you need to be out of there, and this is especially true uh, when, uh, this is true with visiting anybody, but especially uh, visiting a member of the opposite sex. Uh, and this goes double for any member of the opposite sex who already has a member of the opposite sex on any level in their lives. If you are a man uh, and you have an invitation from a woman to come uh, hang out at her place and, and this probably 
well, well I'm sure it does, uh, it works just as well if, if you are a woman, uh, you know, planning to, to drop by uh, and, and meet and visit and hook up with somebody uh, of the opposite sex and they have a, a man, uh, they, I'm sorry, they have a woman in their lives. You know, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, I don't care if it's a husband or a boyfriend. And now, after this latest one, uh, you need to add ex-husbands to the list uh, or ex-wives. Uh, if, if, if you meet up with a member of the opposite sex, who uh, appears to be single and they mention their ex-husband or ex-wife like three times in the first two hours of meeting this person, consider that a red flag flapping uh, because their ex-husband or ex-wife are not quite the ex that uh, the term implies. <coughs> enough said about that but it, you know uh, it's, it's just not going to end well uh, it, 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 again I don't give a flying fuck if the woman's husband or boyfriend or the man's uh, wife or girlfriend is uh, insisting right along with the person you're meeting up with that you're completely welcome uh, in their house, uh, pull your head out of your ass. This fucking dude, uh, husband, boyfriend, ex-husband, uh, or uh, on the you know, on the other side of the coin, uh, this uh, dude's wife, uh, girlfriend, or ex-wife. Uh, they don't want you, uh, you know, in their territory. This is this basic fucking uh, chimpanzee level uh, trespassing. It's not fucking cool. Uh, you, you know, uh, this is, you know, this is the reason uh, where I'm heading next uh, will be a, an absolute maximum of four nights. Uh, you know, it's, uh, and, and, so anyway, that, I, I guess that's the lesson. So that, 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 that's the bottom line. So I guess I'm heading uh, to Southwest New York to, uh, you know, to my favorite Doomer chick, Sandy. But uh, Sandy uh, has a very nice husband who has no fucking interest. Uh, <laughs> You know, he's a great guy, uh, but, but this man uh, has no more interest in, in me uh, washing up uh, in his territory. Uh, let, let's be clear, than, than, than I would uh, with him. You know, if the, I, I don't, uh, I am not insulted one bit. I, you know, I certainly understand this. Uh, so, uh, I'll be here somewhere between two and four nights, and then I, I have no fucking idea uh, what's going on with the rest of my summer or the rest of my fucking life. The, uh, the weather forecast in, uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, looks pretty damn nice uh, between the monsoons in New York State and the 114 degree uh, baking heat in Austin, Texas. Uh, obviously I ain't going to Canada. That's not an option. Uh, my, I guess my three options 
since heading north is not an option. Uh, I, I've got uh, I've got east, west, or south to choose from, and anywhere west or south of Minneapolis, Minnesota, not looking too good. So anyone listening to this whine between uh, between western New York draw a line which pretty much runs through Chicago uh, in, in, I'm, I'm aiming uh, planning yeah right planning to be in uh, in Minneapolis next Friday that's 10 days what is that I th somewhere around August whatever that first Friday Saturday and Sunday in August uh, I will be so in, in, in Minneapolis. So, if uh, any any tribes members, Doomer chick, Doomer dude, uh, married or not, uh, who wants a short short visit by uh, Hambone Littletail and his little dog Sancho Panza, uh, it, it runs right through Chicago. If you you know, pretty much if you draw a line from, uh, I guess it's 90 that I'll be heading across. I don't even know. Uh, want to go check out, uh, I think I want to spend a couple of nights maybe in the upper peninsula of Michigan. Uh, I hear the mosquitoes are hell. Uh, I know that Door County Wisconsin is a beautiful place. The Wisconsin Dells. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be in Chicago heading to Minneapolis. Does that even put me through uh, Wisconsin and Michigan? Anyway, if you're anywhere along that trajectory from Buffalo, New York uh, to Minneapolis and you don't live in the country of Canada, I would, uh, you know, email me at humptydumptytribe at gmail.com and I would love to stop by for a night or two and head on down the road so uh, you won't have to go through the embarrassing situation that I put this poor woman in, uh, this nice doomer chick, by making presumptions about uh, about myself. So anyway, obviously it looks like once again I will not be at Sandy's party and uh, I've, do I've done everything I can to try to make that happen but it's just too far or too long of a stretch. So uh, anywho's I am on the road again trying to figure out where the fuck my life is going to turn. Uh, what would that be? Third, uh, starting on August 6th. Isn't that uh, the, the atomic bomb day? Is that August 6th or August 7th? Uh, anyway, to commemorate the, uh, the atomic bomb. Uh, Hambone Little Tail will be striking out from the general vicinity of, uh, of Minneapolis, Minnesota. I have already sent a, a note to my roommate with the horrible news uh, that I'm sure absolutely fucking ruined his day that Hambone Little Tail is probably heading back to Austin, Texas and the 114 degree temperatures with his tail between his legs to go lick his wounds and figure out what the fuck uh, I am doing with my life and uh, I actually sent a letter to the Texas Real Estate uh, Commission last night finding out what would be involved with me uh, reactivating my real estate license in the state of Texas. Uh, so who knows, your old doomsday prophet uh, who has really had enough. I think the universe has spoken 
that it is time to cut the shit with the uh, with this doomsday prophet horse shit and uh, and uh, get on back to being a clueless fucking moron making a hundred thousand dollars a year selling real estate to clueless fucking morons in Austin, Texas in the end times. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, it's really, really getting time to hang hang up this old uh, doomsday tourist uh, hat. Uh, this is not working for me in my life. And when something is not working in your life, it is time to make a new plan. Uh, we will see what new plan the universe has for me uh, as the end times uh, unfold. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this depressed collapsitarian wine because I need to find a place to go pee in the end times. I love it. I'm, I'm entering Downsville. Welcome to Downsville. <laughs> I'm going to go find a place to piss in Downsville. Onward through the fog, smoke them if you got them. And we all know why. What do you think, little dog? Are you, do you need to go pee in Downsville? <laughs> Bye, guys.